I'm Fritz Nelson here at CES 2012. I'm sitting in the 2013 Ford Mustang, and I'm here with Edward Wehrman from Ford, and we're going to be talking about AppLink. What is AppLink? AppLink is uh, the ability to use voice control to control your smartphone apps in your car. Okay, so how do you connect your phone when you get in here? Is it t talks over Bluetooth, but I see you have it connected with uh, the Apple 30 pin. <laughs> right. Uh, with uh, Android and the uh, Blackberry platforms, everything works over Bluetooth. Uh, however, with the iPhone uh, platform, you have to use the cable to connect, and, and it uses the cable as the, uh, the transport. And, and with AppLink, it's not just any mobile apps, the mobile app provider has to take advantage of the Ford Sync program, is that how it works? That's right, yeah. We have a, a trusted partnership model, and uh, we partner with various you know, companies such as Pandora, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, NPR News, and we give them uh, our APIs to put in their uh, existing application so they can have it on any uh, Ford vehicle with uh, AppLink. Okay, now it's not just I can play my stuff from my phone on my car, because I could do that before. Right. There's more to it, like voice commands and things. Exactly. Yep. You can do uh, so. For an example, an example of Pandora, uh, you have many uh, stations, and you can just say PlayStation John Mayer, PlayStation uh, Three Days Grace, PlayStation you know Van Halen, and okay. you can do that all with your voice. Um, so you don't have to look down at your phone. You can keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Can we see some of these in action? Absolutely. So, so this is the console, uh, just the general one in the Ford Mustang. Right. Yep, this is the 8-inch touchscreen uh, for navigation, and right now uh, we have NPR loaded up on the iPhone. Um, so you can either, if you're stopped at a light, you can you know use the menu. Um, but if you're driving, you can also use the voice command, so you don't have to keep your uh, you can keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. So when we press the voice uh, button to start a voice session, mobile apps, please say a command. NPR News. So you just say the name of the app that you want to run, uh, and it'll start loading it up for you. And, and there's like a, a certain syntax to the commands, but that's at the the control of the app maker. Right. Yep. They they load whatever uh, options they want to have in the car. Uh, it's completely dynamic. If they want, um, for example, NPR has uh, five items. They have stations, programs, topics, uh, playlists, and hourly news as their high level commands that you can issue at any time, and you can change you know the content that you're you're uh, getting a uh, stream to you. All right. So that's. Uh Music, radio, all that kind of stuff is supported. Pandora, iHeartRadio, um, Stitcher. So let's look at, uh, this is locations? Yep, this is the our Sync Destinations app, and you can get traffic directions. Um, you can receive uh, information about if there's accidents along your route. So um, anything that could delay your travel time, you know, to and from maybe work, to and from home, you know, to and from the grocery store. What about cops? Um, you, you can definitely uh, hear about if there's a police presence, if there's like an accident or, you know, somebody is pulled over. Uh, definitely, um, it's base, it's community-based, so if you see one of those issues, if you see a crash, you can definitely uh, report that and kind of help uh, the community know that there's something along this route that may cause delays. Can you do that via voice command as well? Absolutely, you definitely can, and I'll show you it right now. So we're going to be launching the Sync Destinations app. Sync Destinations. Loading your save points. So it's going to load all your different save points that you have, um, uh, and you can definitely add uh, access those via voice or menu. Press so the voice button to say a command. So we're going to say, Sync let's see. Please say a command. Traffic to in and out. Traffic to in and out. There okay. Traffic to in and out burger. Check in. Good selection, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely, you gotta have an in and out burger while you're out here. Your current fastest route to in and out burger is I-80, I-70, and I-15. It will take one day seven hours, 40 minutes, with light traffic and eight incidents. So since the vehicle is in the convention center, it still thinks it's in uh, Dearborn, Michigan. So it's giving us directions from Michigan all the way out to Las Vegas. Well, yeah, I thought it said quite a few hours. Right, it said about a day and a couple hours. <laughs> okay, and um, in a reporting of uh, incidents or things that you've seen, how do you do that via voice as well? Yep, you can definitely uh, access the voice. Sync destinations. Please say a command. Report accident. Reporting accident. Okay. 
Thank you for alerting the community of this accident. If needed, contact your local emergency agency. And it, and it uses your destination, so it knows where the accident was. Right, it actually uses your current GPS location and places a uh, notification there in the backend servers to allow um, all the other uh, users to understand where exactly that accident will, took place. So what Ford cars does this work in? Uh, it works in a variety of cars, uh, the 2011 Fiesta, as well as 10 models from the 2012 model year. Great, thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.